Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I am finally returning to you, well, a little late today, like almost evening time, well, late afternoon, I should say. <laughs> Sorry if I keep uh, saying the wrong thing, but uh, this album review is going to be for Metallica's sixth studio album, Load. That I just got done listening to. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to. And let you know my thoughts on this record. So let's dive into this review. Now it starts off with the song Ain't My Bitch. And I was very thrown off by the melody. It wasn't my favorite song. It was a decent one. But I think it could have done better. Um, It just... They went from their heavy metal roots to, well, to this country rock, hard rock, alternative rock kind of sound. And I don't think that's Metallica's style. This is something, this is where they went off track a little bit. Like, lost their uh, funk or whatever. Or whatever they're I'm trying to say. Uh, they lost their identity to what they're known for. And they're known for heavy metal, thrash metal. And this wasn't heavy metal. This was completely opposite. So yeah, it's... Then after you finish with Ain't My Bitch, it goes to 2 by 4 And that's another... Ugh, draggy ish song it drags out a little bit and it's just nothing that i'm crazy about but then the record starts picking up a little more towards the house jack built and i started liking it a little bit it ain't perfect but it's an improvement and then after that you hit the first single which is until it sleeps and I remember watching this video a long time ago. Uh, I saw it on a music channel network or whatever. I think Fuse or something. And they were showing Metallica uh, videos, which was pretty cool. And I saw this video, and w coming back to this song, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's... An alright song, it's just... Some of the melody is a little off to me. But keep in mind, this is just my personal opinion. You don't have to agree with me on it. It's just how I feel when I'm listening to this record. But then, after that single, you hit King Nothing. And then it starts to get better. I started liking this track a lot. And then Hero of the Days is the next single. And that was pretty good. And Bleeding Me was another good one. Uh, sorry, that was my pen that I write my stuff down on for my... What I uh, write down for my ratings of the songs and for my album review things that I do or whatever. But, yeah, Bleeding Me was very good. It was very lengthy. It was like eight minutes. But it did pretty good. Guitar work was great. James's voice with the nothing or whatever it's <laughs> he just raises his voice a little higher with the yeah or however he does that with his voice and it's pretty cool uh but here is another one that I enjoyed poor twisted me was very good um the songs do get better. They gradually get better. They start getting better at King Nothing. And leading all the way to Wasting My Hate. And then Mama Said is the next single. And I wasn't a huge fan of it. I like the melody. And it's a very laid back track. But there's it just didn't execute very well with me. 
in my opinion, I just felt like it wasn't the song for me. And it could have done a little better. But then it gets slightly better with Thorn Within. I wasn't sure what to rate it, but I gave it a pass and just gave it a 5 out of 5. I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. It's, we're almost to the end of the album, so let's hope it gets better. And the ending to the album just... Well, it closed out fine. It didn't close out great. But uh, the Outlaw Torn and Ronnie... Ronnie was not my favorite, but the Outlaw Torn was pretty good. Ronnie kind of had this country rock going about itself and it just felt quirky and standoffish to me the song and I just I think it could have done better this record for the most part they uh they deventurate or they just ignore their heavy metal roots and try something different with this record and it, uh, or differentiate from their heavy metal roots. So it's very different of a record for them. Something new they're bringing to the table, but does it execute well? Yes and no. Some songs do work well. And a few of them I have some issues with. Uh... The first single, Until It Sleeps, yeah, I thought it was alright, but it's could have done a little better, in my opinion. Um, out of 10, I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. This is an average record. Could have done a little better. Uh, they really uh, abandoned their... Uh, that's the word I was trying to say, abandoned. They really abandoned their heavy metal roots that they were going for for the first five albums and try something different. And different is good. That way you don't have to repeat the same thing. But uh, it just... I didn't click with this album. I think it needed a lot more work. But hopefully Reload turns out to be a little interesting. I don't know. I did like the Fuel song from it and Unforgiven 2 off the next record I'm going to review tomorrow. But anyways, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Metallica album Load if you've heard it. And if you like this album review, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you tomorrow for the Reload album review. And it's got two of my favorite singles from it, uh, which are Unforgiven 2 and Fuel, the ones I've heard. Because I really like the intro, give me fuel, give me fire, give me on the side, or whatever, and it gets really fast. And I really enjoyed that song. Uh, but, uh, for the most part, this record really did abandon their roots. And what they were going for as an artist. But I hope their other albums get better. I know with Saint Anger they kind of go back to the fast heavy metal stuff a little bit. But it was trash. Uh, I will not listen to that album again. I personally do not want to. But... Uh, I know I've been talking in other reviews about St. Anger, but come on. I don't understand why people are giving it a passing rating when the shit's not good. It, for a fact, it's not good. It just has a trash steel trash can hitting another steel trash can and banging on it all the time. And that kind of gets annoying. And with the frantic song where he's like frantic, tick, 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 tock. That shit gets stuck in your head and you just can't get it out. Uh, you try to, but uh, it's 
gonna be stuck there for a while. Um, sorry that I'm talking about something completely different when it's a different review. But I'm gonna close this out by saying thank you for watching this review. I look forward to doing more reviews for you guys soon. Um, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.